I'm with the PSU, which is the Progressive Student Union, and we were actually trying to plan a whole week on campus around this day. So I think actually I heard about it originally through the club. Um, it's been a long time coming. I mean, we've always kind of had it even without the official day. Like, it's something that like, we know we have to appreciate. I didn't see an issue with it. And I guess primarily, I mean, I know, like, personally, I'm strong with being Columbus and And so, I mean, I guess you kind of get into the routine where you're just naturally used to calling it up. I was pretty excited about it just because, like, you're um, replacing it with, with um, another community that highlights their issues rather than, you know, like, uh, going and celebrating uh, a colonizer. Uh, I thought it was a great step forward into recognizing the whole ordeal of how Columbus really was and to just recognize what our people have been through and to just give a good understanding. We have like a very international campus so I think Maybe this is a learning experience still for some people from other places in the world who don't know enough about uh, the Native experience. It's good for the tribes here and all, like all around, I guess, the country because California is the biggest state. So once California does this, it can influence other people. Hopefully it will kind of plant the seeds from a young age now that people will want to do, I mean, the future generations will want to do more research into it and really know the whole story. But I think we all kind of understand that it was just They might not call it a genocide, you know, they might not call, um, they might still have some, some white supremacist sort of historical ideas about what happened, but I think we all know it was um, tragic. There's a history behind it, and maybe we're not getting the full context or the full story um, and why it is important not just to like change uh, the, the day into Indigenous People's Day but also like I to bring equity. Well I'm from a, a tribe part of the Black Confederacy called the Kainai First Nation and we're located by uh, southern Alberta to our original lands we're going into Montana all the way down to Yellowstone and to more east of there and you know, we have relatives down in the states as well, so that's why I'm able to, you know, come here, enjoy the, enjoy being part of the United States as well. We also influence our people as well to, you know, kind of realize that we are here. We need to, you know, learn our language. We need to, you know, be more active within our communities of where we come from because it's really important at the end of the day to know where you come from. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have good plans for partying or anything. I will probably do a little reading up on certain details. So I already know a decent amount about the ones that have. I mean, it never hurts to do more reading. Maybe I'll watch a documentary. Oh, well, this would be like my first time actually celebrating, and I hope, well, to find a, a way to celebrate in the city, like go to like maybe a, a feast or something or. If there's a powwow happening, I would definitely like to go check it out.